goal for blacking in is just to paint the basic shapes you see. You want to paint quickly using the biggest brush you can for the area that you're painting. I often tell my students that it's going to look like a third grader painted it. That's your goal. It's what you want. It's just the basic shapes focusing on first dark values, then medium values, then finishing with your lighter values. And please know this is not a rigid formula. This is just generally picking your darker values. For example, I could hop around between maybe some black, some brown, some dark blue, some dark green, and then move on to some lighter variations of values. So you'll see as we get into the demonstration what I'm talking about. I'm painting pretty loose because I want to stylize this painting. Um, you can be a little bit more specific with your block in if you want it to be more detailed. Uh, just keep that in mind. But we will blend texture and add details later. Again, your focus here is basic, simple shapes. Don't even get too caught up if your color is perfectly accurate at this point because you're going to layer and paint on top of your block in anyway. Uh, so let's get started. So start by looking at your image and decide on your colors. So I'm using just primary red, primary blue, primary yellow, plus white and black, and mixing all my own colors for this uh, particular painting demonstration. Looking at my image, I've decided I'm going to start with my background just because it makes the most sense to block that in first and it's my darkest area. So here is what I'm working toward. Let's get started and I'll show you the process of how I got here. So looking at your photo, um, decide what the next thing you wanna block in is. So for my jellyfish here, I'm gonna start with this top area and kind of block in these different shapes. This little kind of swipe of uh, blue that we see here, and then this kind of oval shape making up the bulk of the jellyfish. Uh, top here is kind of a whitish reddish color a little bit of blue in there, too Then down into the tentacles. I'll start uh, blocking in all those kind of a loose shape. So here we go again define the tentacles a little bit more. Again, I'm stylizing, so I'm not going to be super, super specific. If you want it to be more realistic, remember you want more information there that's accurate to the photo. But for me, I just am going to kind of loosely block in these shapes, um, mixing different values of my kind of red and pink and start layering those up. And just know here that you're going to hop back and forth between your different values and build them up. Remember, you're working in layers, um, simple shapes and lines. That's your goal. And again, remember, it's okay if it looks like a third grader painted it. Cool, so that looks pretty good for my block in. We are going to talk about the next uh, step, which is an adjustment layer, but double check your photo, make sure it looks good, and then you're ready to move on to step three. <laughs> 